Hi YouTubers, uh, a few of you was interested and asked me about a few more details of my Condor. Well basically it's a model Condor A350 X Swiss Army 1977 build. Um, as I said before the story has it that a lot of them was made by Ducati and uh, they came in the back door of the Condor factory because the policy with the Swiss was everything should be managed, ma manufactured in Switzerland but um, as you can see it has a Ducati engine and um, Grimica brakes back and front front and back whatever way we look at it and uh, a host of other details which I'll go into as soon as I've cleaned this Hi there YouTubers, uh, I'm just doing a little talk now about my Condor which a lot of people see. It has several different features, one of the things there is a friction operated button on the uh, throttle which basically you set so you can drive along with the throttle open, take your hand off and fire your gun or whatever mischief you want to do and uh, you won't slow down. Also, this is a Bosch headlight, it's only 6 volt but it's uh, remarkable and underneath, if you can see it there, there's a, an attachment, I'll show you my finger there, a little trap door and you can plug a wander light in it to do any repairs. Um, let me see now, oh yeah this is the air lever and as you can see there, two marks on the air lever there and there line it up and that means you've got the choke on for cold starting all nasty little things and uh, once again that there is the mounting for your rifles barrel goes through there stock goes in there the uh, gear change as you can see on this is on the right hand side which is the old British style it's um, one up and four down as you can see there for the not too bright squaddy there's a picture of it on the tank so they don't get confused another innovation with this is the uh, earth wire which is in this yellow and it plugs onto the frame like that so when you're leaving the bike standing the battery won't drain also anybody that doesn't know like wouldn't be able to come along and put the key in and just start it and away so that's a very very good plan also down here you have the toolbox and the air filter in there there's a package that takes out in which there's spare bulbs and there's spare jets as a solderless nipples should you break a cable it's all very very well thought out one uh, feature that I'm not too fond of on this particular machine which I expect a lot of you would have the same trouble with is the kickstarter is on the left hand side whereas we always used them on the right there's no such thing as electric start with these also another good innovation on this is um, it has an extra air, uh, sorry, oil filter on the outside it has one in the engine and another one on the outside. If you be patient and wait a second, I'll just go inside and get the key and I'll start her up. The key that fits this is the same as what was on the old BMWs and the Jawa twins. So I'll just go away and get that and uh, I'll show it to you. Here we have it once again. It's on a fast stick over at the moment because I have the air lever closed because I've only just started it. There's another thing I forgot to mention, the back wheel is quick detachable. You pull out the spindle and it leaves the chain bracket in situ. Also, in the uh, tool kit comes the things as spare plug and um, chain links and every conceivable thing you can think of. I'll just have a 